Shilpi? Yeah, uh, sir, uh, one thing I wanted to uh, be clarify is like, uh, uh, what does uh, it mean that is violated? Is it like the, both the conversion validity as well as the discriminant validity is not meeting the threshold and then we will go for the second order model building or uh, uh, any one of? Any one. So usually you can try out multiple combinations. You can try out. So for example, if one construct is not discriminant with another construct, what you can do is you can uh, so let's say two out of the three do not come out to be discriminant that means they are highly correlated then you can model it as a two-factor model instead of a three-factor model okay and sir in case like uh, our uh, like convergent validity is coming uh, uh, good and meeting the threshold and discriminant validity is not meeting the threshold so in that case also do we go for second order modeling yes yes because convergence here we are only talking about items converging on their latent factor okay. whereas the second order factor is, is is needed when your these factors are not discriminant to each other EM, these three factors they are not discriminant to each other and uh, sir, sorry, uh, one more question. Uh, if we are not getting the discriminant validity with the traditional method, the, the method that we have, and we are using, let's say, HTMT or other method, and we are getting that time, the discriminant validity. So yes. uh, in that case, uh, should we... Go for... Yeah, go ahead with the HTMT. Yes, absolutely. Okay, sir. And sir, in, uh, in that case, uh, should we go for second order modeling as well? If, if you are getting discriminancy, then there is no need. Then there is no need. But if you want to model, it is it is again theoretical. See, the, that would be answered by your theoretical choice. Whether you want to uh, test the relationship with underlying dimensions or you just want to test it with the overall second order factor. Right? Okay. Yeah. Fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Ramini? Sir, in case the uh, convergent validity conditions are not met, then what is the remedial measure? What Which conditions? Sir, if the CR value is not greater than 0. 0.7 or if the... Yeah. Uh, you so know, then you should drop items. See, when will this go down? When your lambdas are small. Okay, yes. So you will have to drop items which are having smaller lambda. Or poorer, or, so or, now in CFA, we are going to, uh, because yes. you said we should not drop anything, even if the factor loading is like uh, point more than 0. 0.3 or 4. It was uh, for one. No, factor. I, I, I said you may or you may not drop. Yes, but so here we need to drop. Yes, you will need to drop because your CR is going down. Just like we do it for Cronbach Alpha, right? We say that we will. Uh, if there is any item which can be dropped and alpha can be improved above 0.7, if it is already 0.7 and above, you don't do drop items. But if it is below 0.7 and there is an item that you can drop to improve the reliability, you will have to prune it or drop it. Okay. So can you have lambdas more than one also? No, usually we don't. Standardized lambda. See, unstandardized lambdas can be more than one. Because but, had, the model which we have ran in the EMP2 shows 1.12. Yeah, but that is unstandardized. Let me let me show it to you. That is unstandardized. So unstandardized lambdas can be can be anything. They can be anything. But standardized will always should always be less than one. Yeah. Yes, Kishore. Yes, sir. My question is basically convergence of validity means within the construct. Within and, the so and discriminant is between. Between. So, when, so yeah. So when yeah. when in case in your uh, sir uh, in the previous diagram, uh, you know you mentioned that, that in discriminant can you put that screen sir of the previous. Uh, huh, should diagram. should I go to that diagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diagram. Yes. Yes. So here, if you see. Is there a possibility that AVE temp, temp and uh, you know there is a difference? Like uh, for example, in one of these uh, constructs is less than uh, 
r square of x1 is 2 just suppose out of the three only one is less then yeah it is possible so then you are saying that your your construct is your this factor is not discriminant correct right so you will now there are two options one is you go ahead and do the second order factor model or you can you can try out uh, uh, you can mix so for example let's say emp does not come out uh, converge or uh, does not come out to be discriminant from do so you can create a diagram like this you can also you can you can have uh, you can have one factor which is emp to combined and you load all the three items of emp and all the four items of to right so this is emp 1 emp 2 emp 3 and then you have to1 to2 to3 and to4 lex because it was it was discriminant you continue to have three items and then you estimate another fact another measurement model with this kind of a of a uh, model right and then test what is the correlation and then check whether the ev of EMP TO combine is greater than is greater than R square between the two, and the AV of LEX is greater than R square between the two constraints. But the problem here is the problem here is that this becomes uh, EMP TO combine will lose its meaning. What does this factor really? stand for correct right so usually what i would recommend if you get even one construct which is not coming out to be discriminant what we should do is we should go ahead and model a second order factor model so now we can say well this is my leadership model or this is my leadership factor with three first order dimensions and we are aware that they are highly correlated and therefore we are modeling the leadership factor and for future tests okay we are going to use this leadership uh, factor uh, overall second order leadership factor to test the relationships uh, with other constructs in our so that is the idea of a second order order factor model okay uh, sir i have one question here uh, yes. we would be saying we would be using second order factor only when we have like some less uh, discriminant validity for some variables or if we have like a good discriminant validity and we want to you can do that 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 uh, rahul would be determined by your theory but if if the data fails if the analysis if the ev fails then you will have to for sure do it if okay, it, if it passes then also you can do it if theoretically for example you do not want to test the relationships with individual dimensions you want to test with the overall second order factor then you go ahead and model the second order factor and work with it okay, okay sir got it thank you yes sir is in the multi dimensional scale by default a second order factor or how how does it yes work? yes usually it is it is as it is a second order factor thing but it it depends on whether you want to model that second order factor or you don't want to model that second so order. rather than using the dimension per se we use the sub dimensions when it is yeah. used as so, a first order model. so is that what you then, yeah so you can you can also test this model right you can also say well i want to test the relationship so i am i can also do this kind of a model 
right so my my outcome i test with my relationships with the three first order factors that is also one option but if they are having very high correlation with each other then the problem is you will run into multi collinearity issues if there there is high correlation between the factors and therefore if you have high correlation between the factors you can still go ahead and test it okay i am not saying you don't but then you may have problems associated with multi collinearity where each one of they will start canceling out their effect on the outcome variable so you may actually get non significant betas here beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 because you are regressing all three and all three are highly correlated to each other okay in order to avoid that what you do because they are highly collinear what you do is you you do this you model one second order factor and then test the relationship with the outcome yeah yeah thank you thank you